Hello, welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. It is day 24 of Vlogmas, which means it's also Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas, and it's also Friday. So happy hashtag Friday Sews. We got a whole slew of things going on today. So let me start out with my favorite makes. So in today's installment of my favorite makes countdown advent Vlogmas, I am bringing to you my Fiber Mood Molly Jacket. Fiber Mood? Yes, I believe. Yes, Fiber Mood. Um, I will probably not get a ton of wear out of this because I don't, I haven't had any for a jacket yet, but I love this so, so much. I made this, um, for a collaboration video with Yvette from Blossom Sandwich. I will link her below. We both had the same Ankara fabric. I bought it because I saw Joey from um, So Joey um, make a dress out of this for Ankara Appreciation Week and I fell in love with the fabric and had to have it. So I bought it and after I bought it and showed it in a, I showed it in a, in a haul video, then Yvette reached out and told me that she had the same fabric. So we decided to do a collaboration. I didn't know what she was gonna make. She didn't know what I was gonna make. Uh, kind of funny story. I, I specifically mentioned I wouldn't do the valley dress in this because I thought the fabric was too stiff for that pattern. And Yvette ended up doing the valley dress, which I thought was really funny. Hers came out stunning. So I was wrong. She was right. Um, but I used it to make this reversible Molly jacket and I adore it. I can wear it both ways. So on this side, obviously, is the beautiful Ankara. And on the inside is an ice dye that I made um, during my socation with my sewing sisters. Um, and I just absolutely, I, I'm so happy with how this um, tie dye came out, this ice dye. It's like one of my favorite pieces that I've made so far of fabric and I couldn't be happier. I On the pocket on the front, I used um, some self bias tape that I made out of the tie dye. Um, I did that all the way around for the binding, um, and I think it looks really good against the Ankara. So I'm super happy with how this came out. The only thing I have left to do is I want to put some kind of a button closure um, on the front of it. Um, I'm thinking like just one big, huge button um, in the middle um, to kind of allow me to like close it up and not have to mess with it. So um, I have styled it for you two different ways here. The first way is basically, this is how, this was a typical day for me pre-COVID. Um, so I've got the distressed denim jeans on the, I've got some brown rugged lug sole boots. I'm wearing my seam work marlow top in like a purple and white seersucker um, with the tie-dye side of the jacket on the outside. Um, I've paired it with these earrings that my husband bought me many years ago. I think I've mentioned before, I consider these my good luck charm. They are one of a kind hand painted earrings um, and I absolutely love them. And I think they go actually with both sides of the jacket really well. And then I've also just got um, a simple little uh, engraved bar necklace that a friend of mine um, bought me after my dad passed away. And it's got the coordinates of his house because he lived on a lake and that was kind of like just a happy place to be. We could see the sunset and it was beautiful there. So this, it's really special to me. So that's the first way that I styled it. The second way was a little bit jazzier um so i've styled it with this uh shimmery it's a black shiny textured legging um again ready to wear that i bought many years ago and then i paired that outfit um obviously with the ankara side of the fat of the jacket and i paired it with the most fun pair of boots on the planet earth <laughs> look at those silver studs so I have a funny story about these boots. Um, 
several, uh, not several, a few years ago, my husband and I were driving to the Gettysburg, Pennsylvania area. We were going to visit some friends and have a fun weekend. And um, it was Thanksgiving weekend. So uh, I'm pretty sure it was the Friday after Thanksgiving. We were on the road and there was a sale. So I will start off by saying this is the most amount of money I've ever spent on any footwear that I own. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you how much it is, but because I, ha I had had my eye on these boots for months and months and months and I just couldn't pull the trigger. So this sale came through and it was a flash sale that was gonna last two hours and it was starting at 8 p.m. and going till 10 p.m. and then they were cutting it off. So it was 25% off purchases over a certain amount of money. These fit in that threshold and 25% would have been a big, huge chunk of change. So I set my alarm for 8 p.m. so that I could jump on and buy the boots. Don't you know, we were at dinner, we went to a escape room, I was having so much fun, I completely forgot about the boots. We got back to our hotel room at 10.15, 10.15. And then I remembered, oh, my boots, maybe they've extended it because everybody extends their sales, right? No, nah, they didn't. It was over. I missed my window. Talk about being devastated. I was so bummed out for so long. But, uh, but keep in mind, this was Thanksgiving weekend. So I'm like, they've got to run another sale before Christmas. I mean, they've got to. And I just kept watching and watching. Like I refreshed that website page every day. They never had another sale on these boots. So it was probably a good six months later. I mean, I kept my eye on them. They kept selling down. They kept selling out of sizes. And I wear a size seven or seven and a half. So it's a pretty common shoe size. So when I got to the point where the seven was the only size left, I pulled the trigger and I paid full price because I had to have, the, like when you know, when you just keep going back and you keep going back that you've got to have something. I mean, I never forgot about it. I didn't let it like, it never wafted out of my vision. So they are a special and unique pair of boots. So it's not like I can wear them every day. But I will tell you that this is something I would have worn in high school. This is something I would wear now. I don't think I will ever not wear these. Like, it's my style. Whether it goes in or out of fashion, I don't care. I'm, especially after I paid full price for them, I'm wearing these suckers. And I love them. So I think they make an outfit extra special and fun. Anyway, so that's my boot story. Uh, as far as what I've made this week, um, I started on my Fen shirt. I got the collar fixed. The last time I think I mentioned it, I had struggled with the collar. So I figured that part out um, and I unpicked it and got the collar on. I'm at the point now where I need to put the sleeves on and I my sleeves aren't matching up with the arm side. And so um, I just haven't had time to figure out, did I cut the pattern piece wrong? Um, am I putting it on backwards? I don't know. I haven't put it on yet. I just pinned it. So there's no unpicking to be done there. Um, but yeah, I'm just at a stage where I needed a break and I've been packing. So um, that's still in process. Um, and that's really all that I've worked on um, this week. Um, I haven't updated you on my knitting in a while, so let me update you on that. So I don't know if I ever mentioned that I finally got my shawl back on the needles. So the last time I talked about it, um, my needles had come. So I have interchangeable needles, and so the tips screw onto the cable. And there's a, a thing that you put in that helps you tighten it really good. Um, but I think just the way that I like push my yarn up and um, everything, it just kind of loosens. So I'm paying extra careful attention at the end of every row to make sure that they're on tight. But I got the, I got the shawl back on. Um, I might've gotten the stitches backwards, but only an eagle eye expert knitter will be able to tell. Cause quite frankly, I can't even tell. <laughs> 
but I'm not an eagle eye uh, knitter. So anyway, I've got it back on and this is what it looks like so far. Of course, I'm going to have to block it so that doesn't curl up, but I think this is coming out so beautiful. Look at the, um, so the purple is the purple. The purple is solid and not variegated at all. But the um, hand spun yarn that Sarah from Naughty Gnome sent me is variegated. And look at all the beautiful shades of different colors that are coming through in those stripes. I just, I love that. Look at the greens in there. And then we've got this paler color here. I can't wait to see it up against, um, up against the oranges. I think it's going to be stunning. So yeah, that's how I'm not, I haven't gotten a lot done on it. I think about right here, somewhere in this neighborhood is where I lost my stitches. So I've gotten about this much done since then. Um, but uh, now that I'm, <laughs> I've basically packed up my sewing room, um, I'm probably not going to get a ton more sewing done. I am creating a go box for my sewing room. So I'm gonna, we're gonna be in an Airbnb for two weeks before we move into our apartment in Fort Myers. So um, I didn't wanna be without my machine. So I'm gonna pack like a go box. I'm gonna have my, both of my machines. I'm gonna have a box of fabric and a box of patterns so that I can work on some projects during the two weeks that I'm at the Airbnb. Um, but in terms of like working on things here at the condo. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have time for that because I'm really like focused on finishing packing. And with my brother in town, we're going to go spend some time visiting with him at his mother-in-law's house. So kind of busy. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's what's going on with me. I don't have anything uh, else to share today. I am doing my final Vlogmas on Christmas Day. Um, I think I just planned out, <laughs> I thought Vlogmas went through Christmas Day, um, so that's a miss on my part, but I still have to show you my number one favorite. This is number two out of my top five, and I think you can see why it made it to number two. And so tomorrow will be my number one favorite make that I've made since I started sewing again. And I think you'll agree with me once you see it. So... Um, anyway, that's it for me today. Wherever you are, I hope the weather is amazing. I hope you're able to get some sewing in, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!